In this next step, I'm gonna show you how to use the lead capture form and then build an automation to move that data and add a tag. So we're gonna to go to the automations and let's go ahead and do it in the thank you emails and we can go ahead and send a thank you email at the same time. So we're gonna create an automation. We're gonna come up here and we're going to add a trigger. We're gonna do this based off form submission. So I'm gonna type over here, form submission, and then I get to choose my form. We're gonna use lead capture. We're gonna add the trigger. So now the next piece is going to be, we're going to do a lookup contact to make sure that our CRM stays clean. So we're gonna look up first and last name and we're gonna add a field here and then let's go email so that we can make sure it merges. So if we have a first and last name and an email, they're all the same, it's going to merge that contact in the CRM so we don't get duplicates. This is important so that you don't get uh, any uh, really just like crazy messed up CRM where you can't find contacts. You want this to be as clean as possible, especially once you start adding tags so that you know everything is not firing twice to the people. So in here you can delete, uh, do nothing to add a new one or you can merge. In this case, we're gonna merge. So that's my first step so that I make sure that when they submit that form, we are merging that contact. So the next step, what would we do with the lead in this case, right? Let's think through it. We can do a lot of things. If you have another CRM, you can go ahead and send an API and you can have that data sent somewhere else. So here I could add variables and I could go through here and I could find that form. And in the form, I could choose which data I wanna send. So I could send the first name, the last name, the email or the phone number, or I could just send all the data at once somewhere else. We're not gonna do that in this step. That's gonna be more of an advanced. Uh, we could also use Zapier or Pabli to do this, however you want, but we're not gonna do any of that this time. We could do logic. We could route this in a lot of different ways and we could uh, wait for a reply, do something like that. Wouldn't make sense in this uh, case, but here, we wanna maybe send a thank you email, okay? So we're gonna send an email. So we're going to go to this lead capture form and we're gonna go, uh, actually let's type this in here. So thank you for contacting us. And then we're going to go here and we're gonna put their first name. So now, thank you for contacting us, first name. So now it's a personalized message. The sender name is going to be me, so I could put contact owner, which would be me, or, and that would be a variable, so maybe you have some, uh, some employees in the system that are using this and they're the contact owner. You could put this in there and it'd be a variable that'll work for the entire company, or you could just type in your name here and hard code it if you wanted to. Let's just do the variable for now. And then in here, we can go edit email. So in here, we're gonna say, Thank you for your interest in speaking with our team. And let's go ahead and add a, an intro to this. And we'll be very informal. We'll say, hey, insert merge field, lead capture, first name. Thank you for your interest to speak with our team. We will have someone get in touch shortly. Boom. So now we just added this email response. Boom. So we've merged the contacts and we have added them. So this no and yes on the lookup contact, no means we don't have them in the system. What do we want to happen? We want to continue the step. Yes, they do match and they merge them. We still want to continue the flow step. So now we added this. Let's go a step further and we could either just send a text message or we could assign an AI employee. We'll save this, uh, the AI employee for another day and we're gonna go ahead and send a text message. And before I do that, let's actually do this. This is something that's really cool. And I think I'm gonna go ahead and delete this step and we're gonna do this in the middle here. So you can see this AI LLM prompt, okay? So what we're gonna do here is write a personalized thank you message to the person who filled out the form. This is to contact 
our company about something that interests them. We specialize in AI and automations. Sure to personalize this based on their info, including their address. Make it something cool about where, about a location. near them that is popular so the location let's call this Fort Myers I'm not even gonna put the state we're just gonna leave it as Fort Myers and see what it does also if I could type here that would help CA and then we are going to insert the form data. We're going to do all form fields right there. So then we're going to come in here and we're going to put a variable and we're going to, this is going to pull data out using the AI that we have built in. So I'm going to put an email subject line. So we're going to put your customized email subject line here including the person's first name and then we're going to put here email subject this is the variable and we are creating this variable right now so now we're going to go with another one and we're going to make an email body I'm going to copy this paste this down here and we're going to make sure we don't have spaces in the variable Put the custom mail body here. And then we're going to go down here and we're going to put SMS. Thank you. We're going to copy this. Whoops. And then we're going to put the title here for the SMS. And then we're going to paste it down here. And again, we're going to get rid of the spaces for the variable. And now we have our variables and we're going to run this really quickly. So now we've put the instructions in here, write a personalized thank you message to the person who filled out the form. This is to contact the company about something that interests them. Um, we specialize in AI and automations. Make sure to personalize this based on their info, including their address. Make it something cool about a location near the them that is popular and them know we help with AI in that area. Cool. So now we've got Fort Myers and I hard coded this because the form that we're using doesn't have anything about location. Uh, and then we pulled in their name, phone number, and email, and we put our variables in here. So now we're going to hit run down here. So while this is running, it's going to take a second. There we go. So now we have the email subject. Thank you for your interest. First name. Let's do... Let's just do this. Instead of putting these in here, you can see what happened. It doesn't have any data. So I'm going to put in fake information. So Tom Gallagher is the name. And that should be perfectly fine. Also in the email body, do not include a signature. And I'll show you why here in a little bit. So now we're going to run this again. So now assume it pulled in this information instead of har uh, instead of the variable, and now it's going to put this out. Thanks for reaching out, Tom. Hi, Tom. Thank you for taking time to fill out our contact form. We're thrilled to hear about your interest in AI and automation. Did you know that Fort Myers is famous for its stunning beaches and vibrant natural life? You could be leveraging advanced AI solutions to enhance the tourism experience right there. At our company, we specialize in crafting tailored AI solutions that can streamline operations, improve customer experience, and unlock new potential. Let's explore how we can transform your ideas into impactful automations that are bright as Florida sunshine. Looking forward to connecting with you soon. So 
Uh, then we have the SMS, thank you. Thanks for contacting us, Tom. Excited to help you with the AI solutions in Fort Myers. So it's not a lot, right? But how many automations are gonna pick up where you live and actually put that into the system? It's not a lot. Now, this prompt sucks. I did it in a few seconds. I didn't plan for it. This was on impromptu. If I was really doing a prompt, this thing would be all the way down here. And I would be putting in so much detail and connecting emotional cues and making sure that the product matches the response and the person looking to work with us matches everything in the ideal avatar. There's a lot that goes into this piece of it. I don't want to go in that deep. I just want to show you that this is possible here. And you can see that this is customizable. So now we're going to save this. And when I save it, now I pull this above the email. And instead of writing that email subject line, I can come in here and I can delete this. All I have to do now is plug in the variable from my step output. So email subject line now goes in here and it's gonna be custom for every person instead of doing it to where it's copy and paste. Contact owner is me, that can stay. And then my email, look, I don't have to write this. I don't have to write any of it. Now I go to step output and I go email body and that's it. And then I hit enter a couple times and then I put my signature. And that's it. So now this will generate a custom email every single time because of that custom LLM step. That is way more powerful than you think it is. Once you get in and start building with it, you're gonna realize how much that sets you apart from everyone else. The next piece is going to be send an SMS or MMS. So in here, we're going to go with the contact phone number, which is perfect going to send it from our default phone number and then here we are going to tab down a couple times and then we're going to grab this step output and we're going to do the sms thank you again that is all there is to it when you build the custom llm in here and now that is our automation now we have a custom email and a custom text message that goes out to them every time they submit a form so this is how you take a lead capture form, you build a custom AI generated email and a custom generated uh, AI generated SMS. And then you save it. So we're gonna put this as custom AI, thank you. And we're gonna publish it. So now that it's published, anytime somebody does this, oh, I forgot one step, we wanna add a tag. So we're gonna add a tag, right? So. It doesn't matter where it goes necessarily, but we're gonna go after this lookup contact and we're gonna go into the data services, blue tag right here, right? So we're gonna add a tag and we're gonna call this um, a lead. So then again, you type it in, you hit enter and you save. So now this is gonna add that tag. We're gonna delete these. We're gonna move this guy right in here and we're gonna connect these it doesn't matter what path it takes we're going to go ahead and do that and now we have now tagged them so we can use this later as a lead we sent them a custom email and a custom sms drastically increasing open rates and response rates and you have put yourself in such a good position to be able to get that lead to convert because you now personalized it all right so then we save and publish and we have now created our form for the lead capture and an automation that sends them a custom AI thank you message.